Now, imagine cooking dinner, heating your tent all night while you sleep, and then making morning coffee all without touching the wood stove. And that's what we're looking at today. This is the pellet hopper from the draft stove store. So before you buy it, let me try it and let you know if it's worth the money or if this product's just funny. I had some concerns at first, which almost made me tell you that this product was funny, but it might be worth the money. So stick around, cheers. This is the large pellet hopper from Draft Stove Store. I've wanted this since I got the Draft Stove last year. It finally came in the mail. This thing is freaking awesome. It holds almost a whole bag of pellets, and then we'll go over the burn time a little later. It comes in two pieces. You have the hopper itself. This is the large one. They also make a smaller one. And then you have the burner right here. This burner is, it's beautiful. In my opinion, this thing is awesome. It's got these fins that open and close to allow less or more pellets into the burner. It's got them on both sides. Ow, this side is much hotter. Burn count one. So you can close this right down. This is the first stove, this is the first wood stove I've ever seen that you can shut off. If you close these two doors, and then grab this piece, hold on. Then you grab this piece right here, and it slides in. I have it oriented on this side, because when, when I have it on this side, and you're trying to put it in over here, it gets really hot. And then that slides in, and what it does is it closes this off, which stops pellets from falling down into the burner. With the doors closed and this in, you can shut this stove off. Have I had to do that? I have. So I have had to shut this off. That's where the funny part in this product comes. I've been testing this pellet hopper for two weeks now. Last night was the first night I was able to sleep in this tent with this running. The first two times I tried to sleep in the tent with this running, I got smoked out. The pellet hopper filled with smoke, filling the tent with smoke, setting off my carbon monoxide detectors. Whenever you have a heat source in a tent, I highly recommend carbon monoxide detectors. I have two different ones right here, as well as a smoke detector. Smoke detectors only take about 30 seconds with smoke in your tent to go off, where a carbon monoxide detector takes quite a few minutes. I have a, a video where I tested out carbon monoxide in a tent. I'll leave that in the description down below. It's very important that you are safe when you're hot tenting, so check that video out. So like I said, I was smoked out of my tent twice, two nights in a row, trying to sleep, testing out this pellet hopper before I showed you guys. I reached out to the company, asked them, is it normal for the hopper to fill up with smoke? They said no. They also told me that you can't let it get down low. You wanna make sure there's always enough fuel in here to create the vacuum for the smoke to go out. So it took me a week to get this burning correctly. Once I reached out to the company asking them what I was doing wrong, they told me what I was doing wrong. There's two doors right here. These are your lighting holes, but once it's lit, you wanna close these. Once it's hot, they're really hard to move. Actually, not so bad. So you light the fire right here And then once it's going, you have to close these doors so that the only air intake is down at the bottom and right here above the burner. They told me that you need the bottom air intake open. They told me that you want this bottom air intake open. Right now, there's just a slight gap around it, just the natural gap from putting a tray into the stove. And that seems to be the best amount of air for it. If you open it up any more, Actually, it's full of ash right now. So let me go dump this. You see that? When there's too much air, it comes out of here. You don't want that. So they told me to let leave this open for the air intake. But I found that it's best just slid right in there without the actual vent being open. When it gets too much air from the bottom, it creates 
negative pressure up here allowing smoke to come out. So I just leave that cracked a tiny bit and that works perfect. Burn time. Hopefully you saw how much pellets were left. It was about right here. And that was after nine hours and 20 minutes of burning. On a full hopper, when it's toned down and the bottom is full of ashes, when the bottom's full of ashes, it gets less air, which cools down the burn and it lasts longer. So I suggest you start burning early on during the day. So at nighttime, you have the bottom full of ashes and it tones it down. It does not keep it super hot in your tent, but it keeps it at constant temperature throughout the night, warmer than it is outside. And then you have a heated tent when you wake up. And then you can clean out the ashes and get it blaring again, get it blasting again. Last night, it got down to 29 degrees. The high last night was 30, outside 69 in here, negative 0.6. Negative 0.6 and 20 degrees Celsius inside. And then negative one and six degrees were the low. High of 69 in here last night. <laughs> I've gotten anywhere between 10 to 12 hours with this hopper. 12 hours is when it's toned down full of ashes, but 12 hours, guys, that's dinner, sleep time, and coffee breakfast in the morning, all without touching the stove. You set it and forget it. Say it with me, everybody. Set it and forget it. One cool thing about pellets, you don't have to worry about processing wood. They're, it's cheaper than buying your own wood. A lot of the times when I go hot tent camping, I have to buy wood to go because finding wood in four feet of snow just isn't that feasible where I go camping. Most of the time we are car camping out of our cars, pretty darn close to the campsite. So we can bring as much stuff as we need. Pellets are cheaper than wood. You can get a bag of pellets between six and $8, depending on what kind of pellets they are. It's more convenient. You carry a bag of pellets, two bags of pellets per day will get you through the whole day is, is my math ish give or take, right? This hopper fits almost a whole bag of pellets in it. I'd say it fits at least three quarters of a bag of pellets in this hopper. This hopper is huge and it folds down flat. And then you just have nuts and bolts that hold it all together. The burner itself is one piece. This doesn't fold up. It's just one piece and it goes into a bag. They both have carry bags for both of these items as well as the, the stove has a carry bag too. If you guys haven't seen the giraffe stove yet, I'll leave that in the comments down below too, the video to that. that This stove is awesome. It's one of my favorite in my collection. Now, I have a hopper for it. One thing I don't like about the hopper, it doesn't connect to the burner at all. So it's a little tipsy both ways. I have knocked this down, like trying to get it to light. I've, I've knocked this off and that's not fun. Giraffe stove store, put a nut in here to lock this in place, something, a bolt, a nut, bolt, something that locks this to the burner. Maybe that's for safety purposes, I don't know. But I think it needs to be attached somehow because that's, you wake up in the middle of the night, you hit that, that's falling over. Man, there was something I wanted to say. Lighting it. I found the best way to light it is to have a fire in the actual burn chamber first with some twigs or just paper to get the fire going up and out to begin with. You get the initial draft going with a fire down here, and it's much easier to light this. And then I use a blowtorch to get the pellets going, and then you close up the doors and it goes. I gotta say guys, I was, I was scared. This, this drove me out of my tent twice one night. Oh yeah, twice one night and then once the next night. The first night it's filled with smoke. I fixed that, I thought I fixed that problem. I thought it was too, it was too hot in my tent that night, so I closed one of the doors, which created negative pressure with these ones open. I didn't know that these ones had to be closed at the time. So I had these open, and then I closed one of the feed ports, which just, it didn't get hot enough, and then the smoke came up into the hopper, filled my tent with smoke, and my alarms went off. Thankfully, waking me up, and then I fixed the problem. I tried to go back to sleep, and went, Within the next hour, my alarm was going off again. There was no smoke coming out of here, so I don't know why the alarm was going off, but I left. I left the tent, I went inside, and I went to sleep. Next night, I tried it again. Had it burning all day, just fine. Go to sleep, alarm goes off, I go back inside. 
That's when I figured out that these had to be shut. And I've been tested for another week. I've put, I can't tell you how many bags of pellets I put through this thing. At least 15 to 20, I think. So I've been testing this like crazy every day for the last couple weeks. I've put a lot of pellets through it. Yeah. So give this video a thumbs up. Now that I have it going well, last night I set up the tent again, set up my cot, my bed, slept in this all night without an issue. I slept with my sleeping bag open the whole night until it toned down to about this, which put it at about 50 degrees in this tent with 30 degrees outside. And I got a little chilly, so I zipped up the sleeping bag and then I was fine. Woke up, put my coffee pot on top, and here I am this morning, guys. Cheers. Let me know what you think about this pellet hopper. Let me know if you trust pellets in your hot tent with you. Let me know what you think about this setup. Let me know what you think about the giraffe stove. You know what? I need to draw the winner for the heated jacket. All right, so here's the jacket from Nevland. If you guys didn't enter the giveaway for this heated jacket, it was in the hot tent tree tent video, then you're missing out. I do a lot of giveaways. Make sure you have that, make sure you have that notification bell turned on because you never know when I'm gonna draw the winner. It is currently New Year's Eve, so Happy New Year's, everybody. Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. Let's see how many we have. Allow duplicates, fetch. Three hundred and twenty-eight. Pick a winner. Greg Speck, sixteen oh four. What do you say? Spectrum. Hey, that looks pretty cool. I like to have something like that. That's decent. Hold on, I need to see if he actually wanted in. Okay, I found it. Greg Speck. There he is. He's in. Greg Speck 1604. You won this heated jacket? Contact me at my email, adventureswithspackman at gmail.com. Spackman has two ends. I think when you said Spectrum, I think you meant Spackman. It probably auto-correct, corrected. Just uh, fix that next time, okay, Greg? <laughs> so, pellet hopper for the draft stove. I think it's worth the money. So, China, take my money.